Hello everyone. Thank you for watching my demo. Recently, I finished uh, a small project, which is uh, using cucumber plus selenium and uh, with Java. Yes, I get uh, a lot of things for that. Uh, suddenly, I think I would like to share the idea uh, with with you. Yeah, that's why I prepared this demo. Let's see the description. What I want to give the. This feature will test a given user agrees or disagrees functionality and then trying to semi register data if agrees. I designed three scenarios positive, negative scenario for register, and the last one is for disagree terms. Let's see the first one positive. The user agrees terms and then submit valid data. She or he makes successfully. In this scenario, the registered data is maintained in Cucumber feature file. The technology is data table and the matching data table will retrieve this data in the script. The second is the code will verify register successful messages. Also, it use the example. This example from the feature file also. The next table test cases is similar with the positive. The difference is the user enter invalid data. So this data from JSON file, it's not maintained like the first one in the data table. In the coding, I will show you what is the difference, how to read this data. Similar, there has a very verified invalid data message if users submit. Then we use the parameterization to get the text message. Then we will compare the expected text with the actual text. So you can see I just avoid from hard code data. This is critical in the te automation testing script. We don't want the hard code data. The third scenario is user degree terms and then close the current window. So these all three scenarios is based on one background. Given user is on register page. Then the code challenging here is a maintained web element in property file. I think everyone should know what is the beneficiary for that. 
we don't need to modify the script again and again once the UI changes. It happens frequently, right? Next, uh, we're using tags to run specific test scenario. That's meaning we will use the command line with specific tags. The specific tags is meaning for the um, specific scenario. Let's say if you only want to run positive test cases. Then you can use the tags. Okay, from here I update. Here. Then we manage a test scenario with the same background. Data table, matching data table examples and parameters, how the test script is reached, read the data from feature file. That's important for the automation testing. And also, we can use read data source from JSON file. The next thing is regarding the report. Cucumber is offering XML, HTML, and JSON, the report format. One more is you can extend this reports. Then is regarding the text to under the command line to run the uh, specific scenario. So the tools here I'm using Cucumber, Java, Selenium, WebDriver, Google Chrome. Okay, that's all for our scenario and the uh, decryption planning. By the way, here is my LinkedIn, and uh, if you want the code to see how it works for your practice, you can get it from my GitHub. Okay, now we go to the script. We check the one by one. Let's move the register feature file first. Remember the feature file, it uh, always use the feature, such keyword, background, given. This is scenario. Then this is scenario two, scenario three, such when and and then we use this keyword. This language is called Gherkin. I would think you know that. Okay, here is the our background. User is on registration web page. Then here is the scenario one. User clicks on I agree this terms button and registering information page displays and user enters the data username, email ID, confirm email address, password, confirm password, or company name, time zone, and the company. Then user register successfully. The path title, this meaning path title here, your account has been created. This text is shown. 
you can see here is regarding the data table and the examples. These are data table we use. We mentioned that we maintain this data in this data table. Uh, the verified text, I give an example. Let's say if someday for somehow the UI changed the past title, so you just modify the text here. This is a scenario two, the duplicated data cannot register successfully. Same steps with these two. Last, with last scenario, then user and invalid data. So from here, I comment this data because in the planning, we are saying use the JSON. We will read the data from JSON. Also, we will verify the invalid pop-up message. We use the parameter here. The enter the email address is already in use. It's using, it's showing. Then the last scenario is very simple. User does not go to register page. User click on I do not agree with this terms button. And then there has also registered with I did the, the validation. The register page does not display. Then the user close browser. Okay. Now we move to the JSON file. Username email ID, confirm email ID, password, confirm password, our company name, time rule, and company. That's the data for register. So that, that's a JSON file. Okay, mm, let's move to the why important the file is regarding the feature file, the, the definition file here. Okay, so in our, in the definition Java file, um, the test cases has uh, two hook before, and uh, okay, I just used before. I didn't use after. Okay, so this before is uh, for we just um, do a preparation. We read the um, property file. That's meaning um, we will get an element configuration property. The file is here. It's a save our uh, XPath name ID uh, such information in this file. Um, once we prepared the before, then we will see the given user is unregistered web page. So this is a typical keyword for the feature file. You see, our feature file is given user is unregistered web page, this one. User is on register web page. Then from here, um, it is uh, just get a property, get a property URL, and then the driver get a URL. Yeah. So uh, next, uh, we move to the scenario one. This scenario one, the user registered successfully. Then user registers successfully. 
The first step is user click on I agree this terms button. User is click on I agree this item button. Then the user will click the agree button here. Yeah. So the, uh, there has a one keyword text. It will be exactly matching a one um, method in the definition file. Okay. Mm, now we move to the uh, enter date part because this for this is important things. We need to see how it works for the mapping. Okay, simply, if you want to get the step by step, maybe you can see the highlight the comments because this will give you a um, details how it works. However, um, I just use list map stream um, variables register as maps string class and string class. It will get the date from the title retrieved the each data. So we use the for loop. If uh, this uh, whereabouts in whereabouts, then it's a one by one to get username, email ID, and confirm uh, address, etc. data. After that, we call this function in this class to uh, register to uh, send this data and uh, submit the uh, information. Okay. Then in the last step is for the register successfully. We will verify the past title use the example text. Uh, here is the step. Then we will verify the uh, step past title. So you see the past title is showing as a argument. One more important thing I highlight there is you can notice there is a scenario outline. This one is a scenario scenario without outline keyword. So that's meaning once you have the example keyword here for your tag for your text or for your feature file, do not forget use scenario outline okay so this for the first positive then the second is regarding and invalid data um, get the data from the json file this user enter invalid data and um, get the data from a json file then it's uh, called the same uh, function uh, for send the data and summing. Only this part is different. So we go to here to see JSON file how to get. So we go to see the JSON file. Okay, it is simply similar. We read the file. This is I'm using the property to get the JSON file path. JSON file is here, this path. Then we use the property, get this file name, then we use this code, this piece code to read JSON file 
then to get the username then it will return the username so it's similar the username in the json file is here this key let this value So it get this file, return the username, get the email, return the email ID. Yeah, this get the password and return the password. Once get everything, then it also use the same enter register data here then in this file we will pass the username email id and uh, config address that's many we get the in data from here this data information we pass to this method then this method will use the some function to send specific data like 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 what we did in the menu so after that it will verify the text the enter the text so from here I use the parameter the email ID address you see this color is blue color that meaning it highlighted in parameter we go to the JSON file from here I'm using dot the question mark it's a standard for uh, any text then the scenario 3 is the user do not agree then close the browser the beneficiary is the definition file is uh, user click do not agree then do not display we also verified verified this information is to verify user degree to register we use the find element to get a register text path non register text path that meaning the user go back to the next go back to the page Okay, so here is the, uh, our code. And then the next step, what we want to see. Okay, so we explain the mapping table example parameter and the background, the maintenance property files, read from JSON. The last thing is regarding the output uh, report. So uh, this is the feature file, then this is the definition file. Definitely we have a need a run text file is there. This plugin currently I'm using the XML XML uh, repo. If you want, you can put HTML or JSON. So let's see. I put all three files. Here. Then the JSON file. Yes. Um, okay, the better. Sure. Then, then this regarding the XML JSON file. Okay, let's run this. Before run, I we double confirm. Okay, so this email address and the confirm email address they are same. Then the test user I give the name is specific username. In the JSON file, I give the email ID is uh, this one. I can see 
I know I know that this email ID is invalid, so I give here. Yeah. Okay. Now we run the. We run this one. We you can click run um, this file. Also, you can use um, uh, Maven run. Okay. Now we run this. Click it and run. Okay, now it works. It start to run. Okay, this is the first scenario. It open the Chrome browser. Then it go into the register page. Then it next scenario. I agree these items. Then it and invalid. This the third scenario. User click. I do not agree. Then it go back. Just wait a few minutes, mm, second. Then the third page is uh, closed. Then it run finished. Okay, we go back to our test result. Okay, you see, mm, in the run test result, our scenario each step pass. No failed scenarios. Okay, so we go back the report cucumber report here jason this like that the background is past data then the before past User register, user register successfully scenario scenario online. Yeah, so this one is passed. I like read the XML. It gives the clear. You see this user click on I agree this item, so this pass. User on the register. Just to give you the uh, information is uh, the background is meaning it always uh, run for the um, three scenarios you can see uh, in the first scenario this is the background then the second scenario this is the background the third scenario it is the background so that's meaning the background is always run for stunning for stunning each stunning before before each scenario also there is the html report like that okay then um the last thing uh, okay, shall sure. we go back to the UI to see? This is the um, validate, invalidate. The entered email address is already in use. So this is the um, register. I just verified this period. Your account has been created. So we go to the locator. Verify register information. Maybe I can show you this period. Here is print mess final pass message. So from here, uh, actually, I get the text message is the whole string. Then I just cut use the third. 30 um, text to verify and uh, compare with the expect. So this past title, the past title is uh, from our Cucumber, from our feature, the past title. Then we use the assert, assert equals pass and the pass 
um, final pass message. That means this is uh, it's better result. This is the actual result. Then it will us compare to see if it's correct or not. Okay. The last thing we move to the cucumber to cucumber plan to see. Okay, we use the command line text to run the script. Okay, then we go to CMD. Okay, not here. Then we go to the D driver. I set in the D driver. Okay, let's go back to see the project name. D cucumber cucumber project cucumber project. Okay, D C D cucumber. Okay, we see where is the cucumber project here. C D C cucumber project. Yeah, here. Yeah. Okay, then uh, I see from here I can use moving. Yes, then okay. Then I use we clean we clean the we clean the mm, the generate report. This means this area. Okay, we see if it works. Yeah. It works. Now it removed. Okay. Uh, now we use the tag command line to run specific test scenario. Okay. We see the feature tag here. Then this scenario positive and mark the smoke test. This for the negative test cases. This regression test cases. So. This time we only run negative tests. Let's say we use this command line. Then we close this browser before running. Okay, should be okay. I'll click enter. Okay, it is starting to run. Seems that it uh, it is not working. Even at the same build successful, however, there is no future run. Okay, after mm, so there is some warning information four point twenty. I from here I would like to say. For the dependency, it must be 4.11. Okay, so we go back to our source code to POM to see the POM. Then the dependency must be 11. Of course, this is changed by me. Because this is 12, then it is not running, just uh, is um, build, build successful. Actually, it is nothing to build here. Then we clean there. Then we clean everything. We use this command to run again. Then we confirm the tag first. We go to register feature. Let's configure the tag 
This one is a negative test. A B C A T I V E test. Okay, so this time I pre enter. Okay, so the something is wrong here. Seems the command I'm using wrong. Okay, this command is wrong. It must double dash here. Then I click enter again. Yes. We get it. And then we see this scenario is for the second scenario. Yes, the answered email, email address is already used. So we go back to the console. Uh, console. The command window is uh, just run this bill. The negative test cases, then it run duplicate the data cannot register. Okay. This is the uh, one scenario, five steps. Also run the background here. Yeah, it's great. Okay, so let's double confirm the JSON file. We actually read the file from JSON. We can confirm from here. Where is the JSON test data source? Okay, so let's see. I use I modify the JSON username here. Then the JSON name is here. Let maybe let's uh, uh, let's give a wrong information. Let's say I use a uh, email. Uh, ID is definitely we uh, it, it is a new email ID then this time we give the user earlier we use the to be old okay so we go to the register we use this one a feature file this one uh, in in the beginning, we register successfully. So this time, we modify in JSON file. We use this one. OK. So this time, we confirm the email is correct and the username is wrong. So the expected result definitely will be wrong because we are using the um, difference expect message. Okay, let's run again. So this is a user new. This time, after this run, we will see testing user zero. And the difference error is still here. We close this. Then we run again. And then, okay, so we use this tag negative test. Okay, it's starting to run. Now we see here, test user zero, and the username you entered is already in use. So, we can see the log. This time, this is a failed scenario because this part is verified wrong. We highlight the email address. However, we get the text message is regarding the username. Yes. Okay. So uh, that's for all. Um, hope this can help you for the cucumber with standium uh, acceptance testing. Yes. If you want to get a code. Don't forget to uh, go to my GitHub to uh, download the code for your practice. That's just my LinkedIn here. Um, see ya guys. Thank you so much.